Hey guys, it's Wanda from Crazy Days, and it's going to be one of those crazy days, right? So, today we're going to be touring January 1st, my queen dome, my greenhouse, my high tunnel, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're going to be doing. I've got some amazing things going on here, and I want to share it. Y'all, January 1st, who would have thought... All this green stuff will be growing. Isn't that amazing? We're going to walk through and I'm going to give you a quick tour. Well, maybe not too quick. But all the fun stuff. Because I told you, we're going to have fun, y'all, in 2022. Look at this. Isn't this crazy? First off, you can't help but see this pretty flowers coming up. These things have been blooming all summer. I bought this at Jack's Plant and Patio, and y'all, it's given me a lot of joy all summer long. Here it is, January 1st, still blooming. I pinch the tops off, and it keeps growing. I've got my peppercorns, one on each side. They're doing amazing. These little potted plants, this one's still blooming. January 1st, hey, this one... I cut it all back because it looked pretty rough. It's fixing to get cut back again, but it keeps blooming. Now, our wild lettuce. It is growing and doing. I'm waiting for it to put on some stalks and things like that. My onion chives died back, so I took all the junk away from them. You can see they're coming back out. I got green in there. So the onion chives, if it doesn't freeze, will do amazing. The mums have done amazing, but I'm not sure if they'll come back out or if I'll just dig these up and get rid of them. But I have a few weeds back there I hadn't gotten out. But these two tomato plants, I got blooms. And this one has a few blooms. And I'm running them on this for now. I'm going to plant cucumbers in here to go up on this trellis after next week. Y'all, we have a cold front coming through tonight tomorrow sometime it's been being 70 high 70s low 80s and look at the moms they're doing good too but we're facing to shut this greenhouse down people ask all the time how are you going to heat it so far two winters we've not had to heat either greenhouse this one's only made it this will be its second winter danny's has been through two winters i think i don't know i can't remember I think Danny's made it two winters. We roll the sides down while it's still warm. We keep everything in here as warm as possible. And if we need to, we're going to bring a small heater in. But this greenhouse, the potatoes don't, as long as I keep them from freezing, I think they'll be okay. We might have to put a small heater in here, but we have power. So that's doable. But look how pretty. No, no bugs, no nothing. Well, I say that. Look at this. Something to eat on that one. Okay, so we got one bug, but not a potato bug. So these will be harvested soon. These probably another two to three weeks for. These will be harvested. They're gorgeous. They look amazing. This is what I wanted to show you. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This is a cotton bloom. Now, I've only got two or three bowls that stayed on and actually uh, pollinated because we keep shutting it down. I'll have a whole bunch. At one time, I had like 20 blooms on it, and there's still one, two, three, four, five, and the one coming out here. One down here is a bowl. That's a bowl, and this one possibly. Uh, there's a bowl right here. So we've got a few cotton bowls. But blooming January 1st. How, how cool is that? And tomorrow this bloom will be pink. It goes from white to pink. It's amazing. And y'all, this is my tree. I'm just proud of it. It may not make anything. It has bloomed itself to death. And with very little pollinators, I don't know if any of these eggplants will make it. But we will see. We're just leaving it. It has bloomed and bloomed and bloomed. It's got little eggplants on it. Danny said, give it time. We shall see. Then in between, you will see down here, English peas. Look at this. I got blooming English peas. 
January 1st. That is just totally amazing. They look fantastic. This right here, this is my Trail of Tears beans. Two of them came up volunteer, but look at this. Blooms, January 1st. Y'all, this is just fun to walk in here and see all this beautiful stuff going. And look at this. It just keeps going. The other one's done reached it from the other side. It's coming down. <gasps> look, I didn't even notice this. Y'all, how fun is this? Look at this. My Trail of Tears beans already has beans. January 1st. Y'all, I'm excited. I mean, that's just special. I'm going to have to look and see if we got... Look at here. Another one hid in there. Y'all, I did not know that. Oh, wow. English peas. How fun is this? Y'all are finding it with me. I got an English pea already. And I got Trail of Tears beans. Y'all, I'm... There's another bean. Look how big this one is. Y'all, I'm excited. I did not realize I had beans. That's... That's special. Look at these tomato plants. Oh, we got more beans. Never mind with tomatoes. I've been waiting on my tomatoes to actually... Uh, make and we got mushrooms look at there um, to make tomatoes and so far I don't see the tomatoes on them I see blooms so we're just holding on I'll probably find some somewhere but look how tall this tomato is already it's as tall as my trellis that's awesome y'all and y'all remember my red ripper peas I took everything off of them look at this look how green if it doesn't freeze them, I've got little new shoots all over the greenhouse with the Red Ripper peas. They're coming out everywhere. That's just, that's amazing. Danny actually found a pea or two, and I want to show you. They're actually blooming. I saw one right here, blooms, and a dried pea that I missed. Red Ripper. Who knew? There's one that was on here. Um, do we have more blooms? I thought the other day I saw lots of blooms. Yep, there's another bloom. Look. Isn't this fun? You get to tour the greenhouse and see what's going on and you see things as I do. I also see a problem. You see this? Now look. You see that little boogie in there? He will eat everything. When we see these, I come through and mash because it's worms. They will get started in here. And yes, you will have things in your greenhouse. You have to check daily. Look right here. You see that? I just mash him. You have to come check. Because it's fixing to get cold, and I'm hoping these things will go away. But look at the Red Ripper peas. Those are looking good. we got to get a little bit more fertilized to them, I guess. But amazing. Peppercorn. Something burns the leaves a little bit. And I'm wondering if it's when I put fertilized to it. Does that affect my leaves? Because I've had two or three of them burn. But yet, look, this thing is gorgeous. Peppercorns everywhere. Everybody asks, where did I get it? Somebody sent me a plant, so I don't know where you're going to get seeds. I don't know where you get plants. Just, I just know mine is doing amazing. All right, this is a aloe, a, kind of a weird aloe, but Miss Lippy gave it to me from Gemini Homestead. And it is do, doing amazing. And I have her one for her new house set aside. Still got plants here that are blooming. These have got to be spaced. They're got, they've got to come out and be redone. But this is Egyptian walking onions. The petunias. These have bloomed for two years in this pot. I took them down. They were over here. And I put them in a pot. They just keep blooming. So we're going to cut all this back and let it come. But you see, I've got new blooms. I'm not going to cut the new stuff off. 
I'm going to cut the older stuff off, and it'll just keep going and going and going. Petunias are a great flower to have around. This one needs a little bit of work. It's a lantana, but look, it just keeps blooming. I have lots of it. Then we've got a peppercorn in here on the back side. So for all of you that asked, this is lantana on that side. Peppercorn over here. Peppercorn does not bloom <laughs> this. Two different plants, guys, just because. And look at this. English peas blooming, blooming. There's probably peas in here because I found them on the other one, but look at this. I'm excited. These things will start branching out and blooming everywhere now. We fertilized them a couple of days ago. This is just fantastic. I'm loving it. January 1st, blooming English peas. The flowers and the green stalk are still living. We're going to be swapping it out. I keep saying I'm going to harvest the potatoes. I just hadn't done it. We had, we've had been harvesting in the field. But look at these rutabagas. I don't know if they'll ever make, but the leaves are beautiful. Look at this. So we'll see. We'll give them time. We'll check rutabagas soon. I chopped this flower plant all back so it'll start coming back out soon and blooming the egyptian walking onions are doing great i put a little tomato here and then danny planted carrots um they'll be behind our other carrots but look at this they're looking really good so we'll see then tomatoes look at these things they're already up to the side walls i've been tying them up blooms galore I don't know. Will we have tomatoes? The temperatures have been right. But we go down to a really cold temperature for a few nights, like two to three nights. Just enough to kill everything and then you have problems. Okay, and then a few more potatoes. This is where I dug up the turmeric and the ginger, and I left this ginger go and tied it up somewhat, and I replanted all this in turmeric and ginger. The strawberries, hey, they're blooming, and look a here, look a here, look a here. Little strawberries, I'm excited. So, y'all, isn't this amazing? 2022 I think it's gonna be great you can see the temperatures about 70 in here this morning the temperature supposed to start dropping and we're fixing to shut all this down we're gonna leave the vents shut about lunchtime we're coming here shut the vents shut the sides down and any heat that's in here at 70 degrees will hold for quite a while so we're hoping if it gets down to freezing or below that we can hold this but I also have I threw it up on top that's my storage we have frost protection any plants that we think might need some type of frost protection we're going to add that over um, either outside or inside I don't know that they'll need frost protection in here they mainly just need the temperature not to drop below 40 by, I'd say below 35 degrees if we can keep it 35 and above we'll check it and we'll see. Y'all, I just saw something. Let me see if I'm not scaring. Y'all know I love nature. Isn't he gorgeous? I think it's amazing that I can see a butterfly or a moth. He's probably a moth of some sort. I don't know that he's a butterfly. But isn't he beautiful? So it is possible to grow in a greenhouse, high tunnel, whatever you want to call it, in January. Now we have our coldest temperatures coming. Can I make this happen? Y'all stay with me. Check me out every week or so when I post a Queen Dome video. I think that's going to be my title, Queen Dome. 
at the end every time we're going to see what's going on what dies what makes it what produces you can grow all the plants you want like this beautiful eggplant but if it doesn't produce you've just wasted your time so is it possible will the eggplant produce will the english peas produce will the tomatoes produce y'all stay tuned to crazy days and find out in 2022